Sonia Munir and welcome to Sister Please. Um another podcast. Don't roll your eyes. Don't roll your eyes. It's okay. It's okay. It's important. It's important. It's okay. Um but this is not going to be like other podcasts that I end up not listening to because they're too long. It's going to be a shorter podcast. Um okay, so let's 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 That's address this. Let's, let's address the elephant in the room. This is technically the first episode. It was supposed to have a different guest, and when I miscalculated the dates and um, had a meltdown, but then my first guest, Alina Halai, hi, also my producer, <laughs> said we're still going to go to ahead with it. We're still going to do it because this is exactly what Sister Please is. Like we spoke about in the promo, if you saw it, there's just so much pressure on us to wait. to put anything out there whether it's a con- whether it's content whether it's a project whether it's a piece of work or art oh. it has to be perfect it has to just tick all the boxes and that's why this podcast has been in the making for 2 years and it still hadn't happened until uh, the executive producer my very good friend nagin and my producer alina which is like khizra we're going to do it we will do everything for you just show up and talk to the camera and that's what i'm doing And and, and Alina is going to help me through the first episode because I am a bag of nerves, but I'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be just fine. And we're going to talk about all the reasons why this is an important podcast. Why is this an important podcast, Alina? Why did you decide that we were going to do this? Sister, please like help me out. Like I don't want to be like a young person struggling. You know, we need more content like this. We need people to be very willing, very honest. Like. Who said I tell us the real deal at the end of the day? But I'm like not going to buy. I think I, okay. So you you touched upon something also very important. You know, there's this whole narrative like, औरत औरत की दुश्मन होती है, and that women don't lift each other up. And I realized that everyone at some point I spoke to about it. This podcast, which was like, we'll show up, just do it. And it still took me two years until two women showed up and they were like, chill. Just do it. We're just gonna do it. Relax, We're sit down. This, right? We're going to woman this. We're sister, please. <laughs> We've got this, <laughs> yeah. and that's why it's called sister, please. Um, so, Alina, as uh, as the producer, what are your hopes and aspirations of like a project like this? Even though there's like, it's not sort of talking about any particular subject like science, or it's not a crypto podcast. It's not like a business podcast. It's just us showing up every day and talking about how like we don't have to be perfect. to still be achieving something why is it important for you uh that's actually exactly why it's important to me um i think there's too many niche technical things being put out into the world but where is the sister please in the world right when i need someone who is like me to tell me that it's going to be okay or that this random problem like my hair yeah. not looking good any time i need to go out and be cool and like present my best self and i'm constantly thinking about that right now like it's you know, looking so okay <laughs> so who's going to tell me that that's exactly why i need this yeah. like female friendships are i think one of the most beautiful things that exist and i think there's a need to showcase that aspect where not only do they do it for themselves where women are able to control and to create an entire life around them their families their Like they could, but they have social lives, and they have help people, and they solve problems, and they just do it. And why do you think there's this there's this pressure on us to be just so curated? Like, and I'll talk about myself. The, I I built this career, and you know, I'll sit back and I'll see someone launch something. I'll be like, you know, I thought of that, and I didn't do it because I didn't think I was good enough, or I didn't think I had all the information. and this person literally just googled it and realized that they could figure it out and they'd learn as they went along and i and i realized that there's so many misses that women have a long list of because we were good enough we just didn't think we were good enough or we didn't think it was ready jab tak ye ready nahi hoga it will not launch aur wo ready nahi hota hai kabhi kyunki hum baithe rehte hain jab tak wo perfect nahi hoga and I feel like men don't have that problem, and I envy and I envy men in that. I mean, of course, it's the way they've been raised because yeah, they've just been like, so it's, it's "You will make it." Process, no, right? you know, and and it's so and it's so funny because on a core human level, 
So um, I think it's the way we've sort of been raised, and I and I don't know if it was intentional. Like I don't remember any part of my upbringing which was very at par with my brother's upbringing. That if I have to learn dance, then I have to learn dance too. But at some point, he was not. Pre- he didn't feel the pressure to be yeah. perfect. He does like even my brother. No matter how equal my mother or my family has tried to keep the upbringing, there is always an added pressure that I succumb to and abide by. Yeah. Like actively for all of my work, trying to yeah. do and be a work in progress. But at the same time, like I can't not think that no, I have to do it. It's the time to do it. इंटरव्यू कॉल इन दास Yeah, yeah, that's like Google has an answer to everything. Okay, and I, I think so. What we're trying to say here, really, okay. in three words, is that perfectionism is killing women for no valid reason, and we need more people, more sisters, to come through and be like, "Well, just do it." Dude. Yeah, yeah. Just do it. See, it, it's like Nike. I keep saying, "Bola." Serena yeah. Williams is yes, a bola. Yes, I'm a. Yes, I'm a little bit crazy. Yes, I lose my temper. Yes, I woke up in the morning and I yelled at my kids a bit. Am I a bad mom? No, I'm not a bad mom. I'm a just human. A I'm just a mom. Um, we need to unlearn that pressure, and that was again the whole process. Like I said. The whole premise of this podcast was like I've been sitting on it for two years and just talking about it with my besties, and the, I have seen podcasts of men with like three friends just saying like, "Ah, oh, yeah, oh my god, that was so funny." No, no, no. I think this this is the culmination of a collective unlearning. Yeah, yeah. A collective sisterhood of unlearning. That's uh, what we're doing here. And we are going to have sisters come on this show. who i feel like are doing amazing things whether they are whether they are business owners whether they are writers or moms. talk show hosts or just stay at home moms like you met a yeah. stay at home mom yeah yeah no i could not do half the stuff amazing and really cool birthdays have you seen those birthdays i could not do half the stuff that stay at home moms do with patience without killing anybody yes um i might try yes. or die i don't and know we we'll, so and and again while making this get this the list of the kind of women i wanted on this podcast it is every kind of woman like i literally messaged a friend of mine last night who is currently a stay at home mom but she's also getting a masters degree in psychology She's got an active social life. She's raising two, like one one year old and like a five six year old. And I was like, I I want There's you so on my. Nice. I was like, I want you on my show because you're living your best life, and oh, and still looking great. Best life, yeah, is a thing. Yeah. Oh, I love seeing that. So I don't know if you've seen Grace and Frankie. No. Okay. Am I? I am, is it for my age group? Yeah, yeah. It's about these two women, or am I not sure the name? Jane Fonda oh. and Lily Tomlin. Of course, it's for okay. my age group. <laughs> of course, like so. Chloe, they were my best friends. Oh. Yeah, I really watched it. It's about how they're basically abandoned by their husbands. I like the 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 older women. The whole story is about the I mean, fighting of female yeah, friendships. Yeah, yeah. And oh. they figure it out that at the end of the day, the only soulmates you end up meeting are your female friends because they can understand things that even your husband cannot. The intentional that friendships. Your husband can give you. The intentional friendships. Yes. That whole video that's yes. been going viral. Whether you're an Erin friend or you're a Jill friend or you're a Coffee Tijate friend. No, you have. So women have friends for very different reasons. I have. I feel like I have so many women who I could count as my besties, and men are always like, "How many besties do you have?" I have a best, I have a hangout bestie, and I have a crying bestie, and I have bestie who who will go food with me. Yeah, and then I have one who does only errands stuff. We'll do our own thing, 
I have one bestie who just gets messages about like oh, I'm so sick of everything. Oh, this is okay. it. I'm done. Mm-hmm. And we no, we we send each other like if I saw if you saw our WhatsApp, we send each other crying selfies. Like, <laughs> and that is our entire WhatsApp oh, wow. conversation. Okay. So you know that's the point. So I had a friend and this became a thing where the entire relationship was an archive also. Where if we met, we did our thing, we had interactions all of that, you know. Except for our conversations were on Instagram. So that the WhatsApp performed this with an archive of oh. our relationship. So things we shared, workout and what we did just have. And it was so fun and an exercise to do. But also, we don't always need to be having conversations. I have so many friends who, um, Nagin, my executive producer, we don't, we're not hangout friends. We're also like not like bestie friends. No, we're just the friends who like every time we we meet, we hug each other like long lost friends. And then tum kya kar rahi ho? Ya da rahi thi na? And that's it. We, there is no expectation between us to socialize. There is no expectation within each other to understand our lives. I am single, and I, you know, and she's married, and she's got two kids. We have very different lives. But when we meet, it's just like purani sahelia mil rahi hain, bond kar rahi hain, and of course purani sahelia hain hum. But you get it. You get it. So again. This podcast is not supposed to be preachy. It's supposed to. I I think I just. It's supposed to be authentic. I think I just want a platform to have my friends come over and chat with and have coffee because this coffee is good. Yeah. And they do cool things, and I think we don't have enough of that. Like real cool people, you know. Like I don't want to say they will have struggles in a day. Yeah. But they're still gonna be cool people. Like you probably came from a meeting. I'm and coming. Now you have to figure out this whole thing. I you know. So I was coming from a meeting, and then I had a personal emergency which I handled on the phone. And the whole climb up the stairs, I was like, "Am I in the mood to do this anymore? Like, I'm just not in that frame of mind to have like a bubbly, chirpy like podcast or whatever." But keep in mind, I'm completely mood off again. That is, that is like a ten minutes of a day full of these things, oh, of like God. different escalations oh. of emotions, and. I think we don't talk about that enough. I think women aren't sort of we talk about it in our like those soul bitches groups and those right. like groups. The thing, the thing that's important here is that women as problem solvers is an underrated capacity yep. and a skill, and it's ridiculous that that's why we don't have most more of this stuff. Happening. And we are not emotional. You have not seen a woman in a crisis. She is not emotional. She is just like, how do I fix this? Yeah. We will so clean up. We will hide the bodies later. Let's figure this out right now. Yes. For and for and kya karna hai? Batao. Yes, that speech. It that it it stayed with me. She was like, when have you seen? Yeah. Because women are not. We are not in distress. Unless they choose to be. Now that that's okay. You want to be a dancer. Sure. No judgment. As long as it's a choice you're making. Hundred percent. Think you have to abide by some thing that you've been told by some movie by some man. No. 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 Yeah. Also, it's so boring, right? I don't think women would get excited by that to begin with. And many women I know they need more. More. <laughs> they need more. I, I think we're just more efficient in a crisis. I I I, I perform. I perform best when on a deadline. मुझे तीन हफ्ते दे दें कोई काम करने के लिए नो इफ आई हैव थ्री वीक्स टू डू समथिंग आई विल डू दैट वर्क ऑन द लास्ट टू डेज बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम ओके ट्रूथ ट्रूथ I see the children. Uh, it could be someone like my mom. I think people don't understand people. how they don't understand much. the variables in a single day that are being created. Now, there are women who figured that out. Okay, there are women who are in some capacity. Hmm. There's 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 a respect I hold for women like that because that's a power move. Yeah. To to rate yourself enough to look like it's all figured out. Yeah. I'm sure they don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
but it's brilliant because they look like this. Like, have you noticed that if you're in an office setup, and I see this all the time, and I and I. And I've started noticing it even more. So I work in an office setup. I it's this property where there's another office and there's my office, and there's like this outside driveway garden where like or Askal turned there, so people are standing around getting some sun. And every every day in one corner of the garden there's a bench. You will find at least one one of the female employees on the phone, sitting on the corner, dealing with some personal. Yes. some personal drama ke acha ye hona hai wo hona hai and i was like i've never seen any of the men getting those, getting those calls like if i'm at work i'm getting calls from a project or i'm getting calls from my mother ki ye ho gaya ye ho gaya and we both know that i can't solve that problem right now but just me breaking it down for my mother on the phone and just sort of deconstructing it for her yes. and trying to explain to her and getting her to understand that the world is not falling apart i feel like i see so many of my female colleagues doing that in the office and i and now i actively sort of pay attention if i've seen any of the men like do it women. it's i've never seen the men doing it but you will see the women you've probably seen it in your offices also if you're watching at least one woman is dealing with a crisis on the phone jimmy ji ji okay acha ye ho gaya na karti hu fikr main main nikal ke karti hu and it's only the women or maybe there are men out there and you know i'm just generalizing and i don't want to generalize but i really notice it because i do it too show is the two or more and that's that that's what it really is and despite all this and juggling a universe I'm just fascinated that women don't think they deserve to be in the spotlight yes. or that they're not curated or perfect enough to be celebrated yet until koi cheez perfect nahi ho jati and it really frustrates me and again because I've been working for I'm not telling number I've been working for a while and I'm still at that stage where the other day I had someone yell at me for saying like you know I'm still struggling I'm still doing this and she was like no you're not still struggling people you have a name for yourself in your industry you have to stop talking about yourself like that and just the fact that it doesn't help it no it doesn't help but it's also like self deprecating humor is one thing but to constantly be stuck in this rat ke maine kuch achieve nahi kiya hai aur main perfect kaam nahi kar sakti ya mera kaam acha nahi hai and maybe i am one of the people who does this and i and i know a lot of women are very confident about their skills and their work but i know that a lot of women aren't and they're doing amazing work and again i know so many amazing women who do amazing things to take up space yeah yes things. yes 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 like why not yeah maybe you are intimidated but maybe that's the point that as you are as around you needs to be better do yeah. better yeah no it it's not even about being intimidated yes i am maybe, maybe i am disorganized maybe i have like my kids watch tv a lot and maybe i give them take out meals and i fry packaged nuggets for them because i can't make proper meals for them or like they go to a daycare or whatever yeah mai mera kaam last minute pe hota hai lekin acha to hota hai end of the day we all doing the best we can who set these rules because these are not the same rules for men yeah also and again we impose it more on ourselves we do it to so i i mean well of course there's a limit in the employer it's a it's a, it's a it's a type of conditioning and i'm trying to be it is a type of conditioning that's just sort of taken over it's on autopilot now it started from somewhere it was patriarchal and i don't i want men to watch this podcast and i don't want them to be like ye to aage fir se hamari buraiyan kar rahi hai and nahi buraiyan nahi kar rahe hum thoda sa unlearning so by the way come completely struggling ha and clash dekhiye pressure to aap pe bhi hai pressure to aap pe bhi hai but there's a complete disparity in the kind of pressure that's on us and the kind of pressure it's ridiculous that given that it's such a widespread trend yeah on the mental well being and yeah. general well being and nobody wants to change it like it was Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is important. So it took me so long to do this podcast because I know I've done a lot but I still didn't feel confident enough to do this podcast and I didn't feel like I could put it together or ye kis tarah hoga. But I still even 2 years ago I wanted to do this podcast because I've always felt this pressure that women 
feel like they have to be perfect or they have to there's a certain there's a certain image we think we need to project and i within my own network and because i've been working for so long i know so many amazing women who i would love to profile who i would love to have on this podcast and for them to be here and have conversations with me and we're not going to talk about what was your career trajectory i don't want to know about that i can google you and find out your bio and check your linkedin and i'll know your career trajectory i want to know about what makes you tick and i want women other women younger women to see that these women who have achieved so much who are doing so much are just regular women like you and me or like you sitting there watching this show and you don't have to be a certain superhuman bionic woman to do what they're doing we are all capable of doing these things maybe you need some discipline maybe you need a certain skill set maybe you need a certain push but sometimes we and i've always felt i i see podcasts with women and they're amazing women who are so successful but they always feel so serious to me there there's these two women looking amazing looking very polished and looking very proper and using all these great professional wordings and i used to feel very intimidated because main us tarah ki nahi hu ya maine itna padha nahi hai ya mujhe ye sab kuch nahi aata hai and if i was a young like 18 year old 19 year old or a fresh graduate i feel like wow that's that's like a really high bar and i don't know how i'll get there and i want through this show to sort of deconstruct that whole like image that we've created that women have to be this certain yeah this yeah they, yeah, they yeah. Also else. all of these women doing amazing things <clears throat> are also regular women like us who have like you know disasters who break a nail who have like a meltdown right before walking into a meeting who yell at you know their kids who they're regular women like you and me and you sitting at home or you scrolling through instagram and they're having the same experiences they're having the same meltdowns the same fights whatever and you if they could do this you can do it too it's just about sort of identifying your niche or identifying what you want to do um and i hope these women will be open to sort of speaking about these situations or about how they have how how real bts yes about how like the bts is so uncurated how we all have those bad presentations or we all have those pitches that we didn't sort of crack or we all have those pitches of the clients we didn't achieve or the books that didn't be, that didn't get published or the design that got rejected hum sab aise hi और आपको कोई सुपर ह्यूमन नहीं होना होता सक्सेसफुल होने के लिए कोई भी सक्सेसफुल बन सकता है अगेन दैट डज रिक्वायर स्किल्स डिटर्मिनेशन अलॉर ऑफ थिंग्स बट दीज आर नॉट ये महंगी चीजें नहीं है दीज आर जस्ट थिंग्स यू कैन स्ट्राइव टूअर्ड्स एंड अचीव ऑल ऑफ दीज वुमेन लाइक यू नी आर हॉट मैसेज and they're hilarious and they're amazing and they're doing amazing things and they're cracking jokes and they're self deprecating they're yelling at their kids they're breaking heels and they're doing like I said, full circle they're doing amazing things and i want you to see them and i want you to hear them talking and i want people to know that all of these women exist but they're also human and sister please it happens so let's like let's build a community please please but Right. We want to have these conversations without it being so serious. Um, <laughs> we've gotten very serious now, and um, I don't know. I felt like there was now a space for this podcast to exist. And I've consciously wanted it to be a short podcast because I would not be able to sit through a two-hour podcast. Um, I want it to be palatable. and short mm-hmm. and sweet and easy so, on the ears jitna time aapke pass phone ko dikhane jo the utne time mein aap ye dekhenge yes exact jitna time aap wo instagram scroll karenge aur teen char reels dekhenge aap ye podcast dekh le kyunki hum and we're bringing like <laughs> really fun and interesting women um some you will know some i know some we will not know and we will get to know them and just realize that nobody's perfect and the women sitting at home who were thinking who are who have imposter syndrome or who got these great ideas and they don't act on them they just act on them like it took me 2 years to do this honestly and it had, it had to be two of my friends being like kidra just we'll do it we'll do it we'll do it for you 
just just show up and talk and that's about as easy as it can be and i was still struggling to do this right now cuz i was just like no i'm not ready i'm too nervous but you got this and you got this and we all got this i mean this could be a complete disaster but we're doing we it we all got this yeah okay yeah okay sisters this is episode 1 